be making basics. What's going on YouTube? Be making basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe because we're coming back to back with bangers. Today's video, I'm gonna be um, arranging this trap beat um, in Logic Pro 10. I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all hear the beat. Um, let me go ahead and just like, let's see, turn some stuff down, up, stuff like that real quick. And um, from here, I'll just kind of let you hear some of the elements in the beat, and then from there, we'll just go ahead and start arranging it into song format. So let's check it out. All right, y'all, so pretty much that's how it sounds. Um, I just wanted to kind of go ahead and put these into some aux, like group these into some, or send these to some aux tracks. It's kind of peaking here. So I just wanted to deal with that. But anyway, that's the beat. Um, the first thing we're gonna work with is the intro. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a copy of this by pushing Command R, just kind of double this out a little bit. And we're just gonna get a hard intro going. So like a lot of times you wanna start off like sparse or you wanna start off kind of like, with just a melody for real real um and i want to leave the, the flute part really just for like um for the hook so what i like to do is i'll mute it out here first and then i finalize it by just clicking in the workspace window and pushing control m i know there's other ways to do this but this is kind of like a solid way that i've been doing this so this is what i suggest for y'all too Usually a lot of flexibility. Um, say if I make a mistake or if I want to bring something back, I can just unmute it by pushing Control M or mute it. So I know that the flute's not going to be there. Obviously, the probably the drums are not going to be there the majority part of the time as well. So what I'll do is just Control M, mute that out, and um, I'm not going to start it off like with a cymbal or a fall sound. So let's just see how this sounds going in. All right, y'all. So basically, we have um, the hook right here. Obviously, has pretty much all of this, these different elements in there. Um, I'm not going to add any these other elements. You see, like the synth and this choir. I'm going to keep that out for like maybe like a little surprise attack for like a verse or something. Um, let's see here. But let's go ahead and go on to the verse. All right. So we got 16 bars. I like to like take the kicks out or the kick out for the first half of the verse and obviously this flute is not going to go anywhere near the verse as well so we can do that i kind of like this trick of like kind of bringing the hi-hat in or taking the hi-hat out but kind of like immediately bringing it in like maybe a bar or two afterwards so you can kind of do a lot of different tricks like that i'm gonna do it maybe halfway here and then i also like to drop the hi-hat out like in the end sometimes some of these other like little snares and stuff like that but i definitely dropped the hi-hats out in the end so really this is enough variation let's just check out how this verse is gonna sound hey real quick by the way did you happen to know that we have something called the beat making master bundle let me show you what's going on with that basically we have all these courses that you can get from beatmakingbasis.com courses sound kits and templates the beat making master bundle is gonna come with everything on our site so check this out if you really want to learn how to take your beats to the next level go ahead and grab this beat making master bundle this comes with everything that we offer bro and you're gonna get all the updates so when we drop new courses sound kits loop packs all that type of stuff templates you're gonna get all of those new drops grab it man you can go ahead and use shop pay and make payments on it or you can just go ahead and pay for it right now it's no problem man this is everything you'll get on here lots of courses come on lots of drum kits 
Look at all this stuff, man. Everything on the site. Go ahead and grab that now. Let's go ahead and get back to the video. cool so that sounds pretty dope we could just leave it alone just like this and it'd be fine but one thing i want to do is maybe like up this like an octave so what i'm gonna do is put shift option and up and that's just gonna give a whole new vibe um and a little bit of variation for the second uh part of the verse let's check it out dope so we have the you know intro first hook first verse second hook now it's time to work on the second verse all right so like what you want to do is just you still still should have the same vibe here for the most part but you kind of want it to be different so one quick way to do that uh oops i didn't mean to do it right there one quick one quick way to do that is like actually you can literally either drop something um, obviously the verse is not going to have the flute in there. Again, I'm pushing control in to mute this out, but I have these other sounds here. So I could, I technically can bring some of these other sounds in here to add like a little different sparse to this. So let me just do something. I'm going to take the hi-hats completely out right here and let's just check out how that sounds. But I'm just going to bring in this choir. Let's see what that choir sounds like. And this is a little subtle sound. It's just enough to add a little variation from this verse to this verse right so now we're going to the third like hook or whatever so boom third hook and now we're going to want to go ahead and you know add one more verse and then get it out of here so let me just do that i'm gonna highlight this verse and this hook and then push command r and then I'm going to actually take this intro and we're going to throw that at the outro or throw this at the outro as well. So the song's going to be almost three minutes long for the most part. And we're going to take this right here. Now, obviously, we want this third verse to be different. So this one, we might just completely do something different like that hasn't been done anywhere else in the, um, in the music. So let's just see what we could do here. So like I could just drop out the 808s and everything, kind of make it sound like it's starting over. But obviously they'll see the like instruments and stuff coming in so let's take it like that and then what we're going to do here is i'm going to introduce this new synth sound here
right, so this is pretty much a fire beat right here, man. Now there's some other stuff I can do. I do have these other little hi hats that I have here. So like what I can do if I wanted to is like maybe switch some of this stuff out. So like boom. You feel me? Maybe like you feel me. Um half that. You know what I'm saying? Turn him on. Um like maybe half that. him off you know there's something little changes that can be made in here to where you have something different going on so we'll do that and then for the final step here I'm gonna add my tag as well boom, boom, boom. next video will be mixing it I'll go ahead and keep it back to back man um, I'm gonna just tag in here like that y'all that's gonna be today's video appreciate y'all watching make sure you get subscribed to the channel if you're not already make sure you also turn on those post notifications so you know when i'm gonna drop also go ahead and head over to the site beatmakingbasics.com we got courses excuse me courses <laughs> courses drum kits loop kits all types of stuff man mixing templates all the stuff is designed to help take you to the next level man go ahead and check that out it's premium quality quant uh, uh content man um, appreciate y'all watching and I'll see you in the next one, bro.